Hey everybody, Jeff here from Outseta. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Outseta to set up pricing for a cohort-based course. So recently we had a prospective customer reach out and they said, listen, I want to sell this cohort-based course, but I'm having a really difficult finding any product that can support the pricing model that I need out of the box. And Outseta can do what they were looking for, even though they had very specific requirements. So I'm going to show you an example of how our billing system is flexible enough to support cohort-based course models like this. So first of all, what were the requirements of the user? They want to sell cohort-based courses that run on a quarterly basis and have a defined start and end date. So for example, they want to offer a course that starts January 1st and runs until the end of Q1, March 31st. Uh, and charge the user for that time period specifically. They need students to be able to enroll anytime prior. So prior to the start date, students can enroll kind of on a rolling basis. But importantly, they also don't want students to get charged until the course start date. So it was important to them that students could sign up, not pay anything, but then automatically be charged on the day that they start the course. Finally, if they are signing up prior, they want to make sure that students don't have access to course content prior to the course start date. And they also need to be able to close signups for the course once the course starts. So how do you support that with Outseta? Here we are in Outseta setting up a pricing plan, and I'm just going to name this for the sake of this example, our Q1 cohort. You can also provide an additional uh, description of um, what's included in, in the course that you're purchasing. Uh, I'm going to make this an individual uh, subscription. That means each person has to sign up for the course individually rather than in a team. And in this case, uh, the prospective customer wanted to charge the student um, the, full, the full fee as a one-time payment. So I'm going to just say it's going to be $100 for the course, but you could also break this up into monthly billing if you wanted to by selecting standard and you could um, sort of bill, um, bill the user on a monthly basis um, in three payments for the overall price of the course. Uh, but for the sake of this example, let's just say it's a one-time payment made up front on the start date of the course in the cost of $100. I'm going to check this require payment information box. Um, the reason I'm doing this is we do want people to be able to sign up on a rolling basis, but we're not going to charge them until the subscription start date. So we are going to collect payment information up front, which is what this is communicating to Outseta, although we're not going to charge the user immediately. And I'm also going to use a free trial in this instance. So the free trial allows users to come to the site, sign up prior, um, create a password and login credentials, uh, but not actually be charged until the end of that free trial period. And what I'm going to do is have a free trial that runs until a particular date. Uh, in this case, it's going to be January 1st. So people can sign up prior and they're sort of technically going to be on this free trial, but then the trial is going to end on January 1st and the student will automatically be charged on that date. Finally, I'm going to set an expiration date. So we want this course to automatically end um, three months later on March 31st. Um, so I'm going to actually give it a date. I have uh, two options here. I can say just let the course run for three months or let the course uh, run until a particular date. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. Uh, but for the sake of this example, I'll expire uh, the subscription. Um, and that will sort of lock the user out of accessing course materials at the end of that uh, period that they want the, the course to run for. So that's how I would go ahead and set up this plan. Um, it provides everything the user is asking for. Importantly, the prospective customer can also add all of the course content to their site ahead of time and just not give this plan access to that content. So the user, the student can sign up. Um, they can create a password, they can even log into your site, but we can hide all of the course content from them. And then once the course starts and you no longer want people to be able to enroll in this course, you can just deactivate the plan. If you deactivate the plan, it's going to remove it from your website. Nobody new can sign up for this course, but all of your existing students uh, will remain enrolled in the course. So this is just a great example of if you want to sell any sort of co cohort-based courses, how Outset is 
uh, billing system is flexible enough to meet your needs.